Hi YouTube, Engineer Boy 100 here. Today's video is on changing the drain valve on a radiator. Okay, so I have a 1994 Toyota Corolla brand new racing aluminum radiator in it, and it's been leaking fluid, coolant fluid, and I didn't know where. I checked the hoses, everything's fine. I checked um, even the um, heater core inside. Nothing's leaking. Couldn't find anything on the ground. It's like, where's the water going? Brand new head job, brand new engine, brand new gasket. There's nothing coming out of the water pipe. It's not consuming fluid. Where is it leaking? Well, it was leaking at the drain plug. And I'm going to replace the plastic screw with this metal valve. And I'm going to give you a close up view of it and then explain why I think this is a great solution to this problem. Stay tuned. Okay, so this drain plug that I've selected is very very simple this is how it works when it's plugged in just like this this is the closed position water can't get out because there's no opening if you look there's no opening anywhere watch what happens when i screw this hose this valve in you screw it in like so and you expose this opening and this is just basically a through pipe there you go See this opening here? That's where the water can go through and then out this end. Goes out this end. This is a very strong and good way to seal um, the valve for the drain on the radiator. I'm going to put some gasket sealer in the thread so it doesn't leak here. And then we have a nice strong brass fitting that can help, well, help really uh, make the cooling system secure and, and no longer leak. So we're going to go down to the car, take out the little cheap plastic one, and install. Okay, so now we're down at the car, and there's one other little detail I wanted to point out about this little valve, and that is, is quarter inch NPT. So what does that mean? NPT. It means national pipe thread, quarter inch. And no, it doesn't look like it's quarter inch. And if you measure the outside of it, it looks like it's about a half an inch. But it is quarter inch, and the national pipe thread designation specifically desi you know, specifies the thread pitch, the size, and all of the different details about this. So anything that is quarter inch NPT will work with anything else that is quarter inch NPT. So any male, or it doesn't matter if it's plastic, or brass, or copper, or steel, or iron, or whatever it is, if it's a quarter inch NPT, they will work together. Okay, and it says it right there, quarter inch NPT. So, where are we going to put this? We're going to put this down on uh, the bottom of my radiator. Here's my little radiator to give you a reference of where we're going. So it's way down here on the right-hand side on the bottom. Let's see if I can point to it for you. It's way down here, right there. Okay, so it's right there. And I might even be able to zoom in a little bit because it's kind of far away. See if I can give you a close-up of it and focus on that. So that will be coming out. I'll be unscrewing it. And the new NPT uh, brass valve will be going in. Put you guys on a tripod and hopefully you can see. I don't know if there's going to be enough room for you to see what I'm doing. But at least you get a before and you get an after. So let's get it done. First order of business, when we get the uh, new, the old plug out, we are going to have a little bit of leakage. So I'm going to slide this little catch pan out of there so we don't make a mess. So let's get that done. All right, a little bit farther. Beautiful. So there it is down there. So now we can remove the uh, the old valve. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and try and capture this so you guys can see We take it off. I loosened it already, I'm sure as you can see. And then we just take this old one off. Water should come out or coolant should come out like so into our pan. And then we can put in the new valve. There we go. We'll put in the new valve. In fact, we just grab it right now. Uh, no, I need to put Okay, so I put this gray 
the ultra gray sealer on just about everything. And I'm gonna put that on this uh, the thread to this valve too. So one-handed, here we go. See if I can do this one-handed. See how the guys do it. So I just don't want it leaking. You know, I want to put a little sealer in those threads so they don't get any leaks down the road. And that way you don't have to tighten it real tight. You know, you get it on there and it will seal very, very well. Just a little bit of the threads like this will help it to seal very, very well. Okay, so I'm gonna go down and try and put this in. See what we get here. And for those of you who don't know, that is a, the nut on there that you want to snug up once you have it in, is a 9, 19, 6, 9 16 And 9 is basically the same as 14 millimeter, so either one on this particular case, either one will work just fine. You can use a 14 millimeter, this is a metric car, so you want to use 14 millimeter, it will work. If you want to use 9 16th, it will also. So once I snug this up, I can open and close that little valve without loosening the nut because this, this will be nice and tight, and the other, the uh, hand portion, will be hand tight. And that's it. So, anyway, in a nutshell, thank you for staying focus. That is the valve, the new valve installed, and hopefully I don't have any more leaks. Thanks for watching.